Ugh, only a raven would put their face on a mountain like this. What, are they compensating for something? Wait, aren't you a raven too? <sighs> Where do you land on an Apex map? Everybody has their favorite places to drop. The close quarters action of Energy Depot makes for a great place to start the action in. Or you could enjoy Gauntlet instead, bouncing around the jump pads before heading off on your way. Or you may enjoy landing at... <clears throat> Anyways, you may have your favorites, but there is one thing well known about every Apex map. Some POIs are more popular than others. The hot spots, the best POIs on a map that are sought after by a majority of teams. And often are the reason there are eight squads remaining in round one. Wait, seriously? Everyone landed at Fragment again? Outside of that one, the most popular POIs are the ones that are considered to be the most powerful in the game. Offering the best loot, the best rotations, the greatest advantages that anybody could ever ask for. They're popular for the power they provide, and for good reason. Lava Siphon, Lightning Rod, Mill, Phase Driver are all locations that give the teams leaving them the tools necessary to dominate a lobby. Everything you'll ever need in a game can be found in them. As well as things you don't need to, but we don't talk about those. But there is one POI in the game that has surged to popularity since the start of Season 20. A location that rose to challenge Lava Siphon as one of the best POIs in Apex Legends. You've probably seen it before. You've probably landed at it. But for those who don't know, allow me to show you a brand new home for the grinders in your squad. Allow me to welcome you to Trials. And tell you why Trials sucks. Okay, okay, I know what you're about to say. Didn't I just talk about all the best POIs and how Trials has risen to be a part of them? Yes, absolutely. The title, however, was absolutely clickbait. Gotcha, bitch! Trials sucks not because it's a bad POI, but because it is a great POI. If that makes you more confused, let's start from the beginning. Trials is a POI on the northeastern corner of World's Edge. Boo! All you ever talk about is World's Edge. Why not mention Broken Moon for one? I will in due time, but for now, Trials as a location was added in Season 4 as part of a limited time event centered around Bloodhound, reforming the empty mountain into a brand new location for players to explore. It features two layers, the top of the mountain and the arena hollowing the center of it. And this arena is a special location in Apex Legends, as it was the first ever location in Apex to feature wildlife that could kill you. Uh, nice kitty. Clearing each of the Bloodhound Trials gives you special loot as a reward starting at rare, then high tier, and then ultra tier loot. And by ultra tier loot, I mean guaranteed gold backpack, gold knockdown, and gold helmet, which you'll definitely share with your team. Right? This is where the power of Trials lands, in its powerful loot right at the start of the game. Very few teams on World's Edge will leave with loot similar to yours, and you can use that to play more aggressively in the early to mid game. But if you have happened to watch this video, or have eyeballs, you may realize one big issue with Trials. It's all the way over here. This is very far for a POI, and Trials by itself has to work through a lot to get anywhere. All of its rotations are blocked by other POIs, and the priority it has is... Well, it needs a lifted truck to compensate for its size. That's also without mentioning that Trials has no beacons or crafter whatsoever. Seriously? No beacons? By itself, Trials is actually... terrible. Sure, you have great loot to fight early, but you have no space at all if there's a team at the west of Skyhook. Wait. Oh, I just got a fantastic idea! If your POI misses out on things that another POI does have, just take that POI yourself. It's free real estate. Your fighting potential in the early game means that you are able to kindly persuade any teams who happen to land in Skyhook to the other side. Taking control of Skyhook West guarantees a Trials team not only the fantastic gear of Trials, but now enough supplies to fully kit your entire team. You don't have to worry about teams gatekeeping you from Sky East or Countdown either, as they are more likely to get out of dodge before you start rolling into their turfs. And this addition to Trials also gives the location beacons. So now controller and recon characters can be used to their fullest potential at this single landing spot, giving all the tools every other location on World's Edge has, but also this. If this is where Trials was left at, it'd easily sit as one of the better POIs on World's Edge. And in fact, it did for the longest time. 
but a change that happened more recently to Trials turned it from one great POI to the most sought after location in the game. One simple change in Season 20. Evo. The Evo Shield change shifted how teams played the early game in Apex Legends. Now, optimizing your Evo gathering became an important part of landing off the drop. From hitting all the bins, scanning beacons and care packages, and clearing wildlife. In fact, wildlife specifically are a great way to farm Evo. You get Evo not just by clearing them, but also by dealing damage to the wildlife itself. So you get even more Evo on top of the normal clear. Stormpoint has a ton of Evo farming opportunities from flyers, spiders, and wildlife for teams to use. And World's Edge has... The early game potential of Trials skyrocketed from not one of the best, to the best location in the entire game. Its ability to build up a team with loot, Evo, and equipment was unmatched by the rest of World's Edge. And any small victory by the Trials team could be snowballed into a powerful force to be reckoned with. It became so valued, in fact, that the moment the Season 20 changes were announced, one of the biggest competitive teams in Apex Legends history, Dark Zero, immediately forced their way into Trials as their new landing spot after the season launched. A place that fully cemented Trials' dominance on World's Edge, as Dark Zero ended at the very top of the NA region and the following playoffs, just narrowly avoiding a finals finish. And this dominance would only continue when the final obstacle to Trials' power was removed in the following competitive split. You see, in a casual or ranked match of Apex, you land at your POI from a shared dropship, jumping out whenever you want and landing however you like. That means you have the freedom to land wherever you want, but any team could come and contest you if they'd like. Which is an issue for Trials, as even though they can bully any team landing at Skyhook West, it dampens your potential when you have to spend your start fighting them off. Hey, don't touch that, you little rat! But that teeny little issue got solved in competitive shortly after with the addition of a new system called the POI Draft. Drop spots for teams are chosen ahead of time, and all teams land at their POIs at the exact same time and at predetermined locations, taking away contests in general. And Trials? Well, it got something very wonderful. A drop spot with Trials and Skyhook West entirely to itself. Like the Infinity Gauntlet, the pieces were finally put together. Everything Trials teams would ever need would now be for them. And as Split 2 of ALGS Year 4 kicked off, one fact was made abundantly clear. Trials was the most sought after POI in the entire game. Okay, but why does Trials suck then? Huh? You, you said that Trials sucks at the start of the video, but nothing you said shows it being bad at all? Why is it bad? Oh, you didn't notice? N notice what? The, the problem with Trials? I already said it. What? All you've been doing is glazing Trials! You didn't say what the big problem was! <sighs> you may realize one big issue with Trials. It's all the way over here. See? Allow me to explain something. You can have a five-star restaurant with meals that leave your patrons weak at the knees, but that restaurant still won't get a lot of business if it's in the middle of the Mojave. And the same goes for POIs. Trials and Sky West being so far off in the corner of the map means you don't have access to a lot of fast rotations to endgame spots. Even locations that look to be close by will usually have teams already saddled into them before you get there. Mainly because of looting not one but two POIs, plus clearing the trials and grabbing any evil harvesters or a vault on the way, really eats up a lot of time off the drop. So you rarely are able to get to a final ring quickly, taking away most opportunities to play the zone unless it ends in Skyhook or Countdown. This problem makes it so that Trials favors, or more accurately, requires a very particular playstyle to use effectively. The Edge playstyle. A strategy in Apex of building up your resources and fighting power in the early game to gather kill points and fight your way into the ring in the mid to late game. With the Edge playstyle, Trials gets to shine as the dominant force it is. But Edge 
is not for everybody. The edge playstyle inherently puts you at a disadvantage in an Apex game by losing out on good chances to get into the ring. You're practically bringing up the difficulty of a given match for a higher potential points leaving it. And I hate to tell you this, but you ain't MJ. Most teams just aren't going to have the fighting power or know-how to handle playing from trials. And even the ones that do have that aren't always performing from it. The greatest super team in Apex history, featuring three of the best players to ever play the game, who dominated the Split 2 Pro League after the draft was implemented, gathered a vast majority of their points on Storm Point. And that's despite landing at Skyhook West and Trials any chance they got. But when the top dogs of the scene have their favorites, those favorites will trickle down. And more teams outside of those powerful fighting squads sought it. Trials was by far the most popular landing spot at the start of the POI draft. And it was the trap that promised too much to the teams who were not prepared for it. Too many teams were tempted by the power it offered. And that is why Trials sucks. Okay, but does that really affect people in normal Apex games? Well, uh, 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 no, not really. So it only sucks for a very specific niche of Apex players and is still really good for everybody else? Yeah, pretty much. So what was the point of this video? Look, sometimes I just want to talk about things I find interesting. It doesn't always have to pertain to everything. Aww, look at all the ravens. Are you looking up to your big dad up there? That's so cute.